friends, recently I've been invited to participate in a STEM quest show. It was a pretty new thing for me, so to be honest, I got a little nervous. Since I had no idea what will be discussed, what subjects and questions there will be. And also, during this time, I was on a trip to the Great Smoky Mountains. I was pretty worried. What if the internet connection would be dropped? And then I wouldn't be able to connect and participate. But after 10 minutes into the show, I was very impressed. I was so involved. It, it was awesome. It was very interesting. And probably the best thing about the show is they explain the answers and they give a lot of science facts. And they invited many kids from around the world. They, there were kids from Turkey, from, New, from England, from South Africa. And I was happy to meet smart and curious kids from all around the world. And there were also experts invited from world leading tech companies. So kids were even able to speak to an engineer from Google who told us a lot about artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I was really impressed by the work they do to involve kids into engineering, robotics, and programming. So who are they? This show was held by a company named Twin. Here's their website in case you wanna learn more about them. They also produce educational and robotic sets. And today we're going to be able to see these sets and what you can do with them. They also have a mobile app called Twain. And it's a lot, and it's like a kid's social network for, for science and engineering. Let's be honest, this is something all nerds were waiting for. Okay, now let's look at their STEM learning kits. Actually, I have two kits. Ivana, I have something for you. Look what I have for you. You want to go check it out? Yeah, of course. And I want to check this one out. Okay, it's a quick start to coding. Let's see what I need. Step one, take your coding model out of the box. Step two, connect to a power source. This is the power bank I'm going to use. Okay, it is connected. It's blinking. Now the next step is download the Twi Twinner mobile app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Paragraph? I've never heard of that. Must be pretty interesting. Wires. Batteries. And a proximity sensor. Guys, believe it or not, but every robotic set on the market is made up of the same pieces. The only difference is how good the application is, how good the programming language is, how easy it is to deal with them. Another infor very important thing is guides and examples. Oh, what are these parts? I've seen that, I've seen that, and I've seen these two, but where are all these?
Okay, guys, there are many cool tutorials and projects in this guide, but here's the one I want to build. And you know who's going to help me with that? My little furry friend. It's a guinea pig, and she's three months old. And with her help, I'm going to show you how to build a smart security system. It's cool that it has so many helpful things and it has so much stuff included. And the one thing I really like is that it's compatible with Legos. And the, all these pieces of Legos are being are in my closet for most of their life. And now I'm thinking they're gonna start a whole new life with these like, with these sets. So now I'm gonna build a smart security system that's gonna see if this guinea pig is at home or if someone robbed her. Oh, for the for the element, the proximity sensor. A proximity sensor measures the distance of the ob objects in front of it. Look how cool it is that it's compatible with Legos. Now my guinea pig is safe. If somebody, if she goes out or if somebody takes her, the alarm's gonna sound. You see how the proximity sensor works? I love this project. It took me maybe 20 minutes or less. It was, and it was very interesting. Let's see if my sister's having some fun. Ivanka, how are you doing? It's really cool. I've already done a couple projects. I just found a project called Smart Security Drawer. Maybe you can help me? Wow, that would be a great combination with the project I did with our guinea pig. Really? Let's go! Can you show me what you've built? Okay. So basically, it's going to measure the distance between this and the guinea and anything else. And if it changes, then it's going to be... Now let's attach the smart security door to the guinea pig house. Now when the guinea pig goes back home, uh, the doors will automatically open. called someone's at the door and how it works is it uses a proximity sensor the same one we used with the guinea pig house it's gonna beep if something is very close to it see right right here the bar graph shows how close it is and the buzzer uh start the buzzer starts making a sound now no one's gonna enter my room without me knowing instructions were very easy and I like I, I really liked all the projects because they were fun even though they didn't take that much time which is also really cool one thing I really liked that it's compatible with Legos it's way easier to attach it to different things and and it's fun to play with another thing I like about it is they give real life examples and they explain about about the elements yeah this is something I really like for example, this is what the humans see and this is what the birds see. And it show and it shows where these elements are used in real life. This is very cool. Looks like both of these kids were really fun and cool, and I think we're gonna have a lot more fun with them. And with the guinea pig, if she wants to participate. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And see you next time. Bye.